guys this is david and it's jared uh we're doing a review on x-men days of future past i was thinking the movie is going to be good i have faith in the movie i know they've had some rough um uh moments with other movies the previous x-men movies they've had ups and downs they've had some good ones they have some bad ones x3 x3 especially i was in the theater and then and spoilers, by the way, we're, we're going to have plenty of spoilers. We're not spoiler conscious in this video. But um, in X3, um, they killed Cyclops, and that Jared does not like Cyclops Yay! at all. Hey, <laughs> but no to the overall concept. Yeah, but as the leader <laughs> of the X-Men, I'm like, man, they got to have give Cyclops some kind of respect. He got no kind of respect in none of these Like, movies. he just got... And then they wiped him out. He out got handed life. the shaft, that, basically. That was just so disrespectful. Of course, Professor X, like, that, that was the moment when that, they, when he started looking at the screen and he was when just he like... When he was looking like no, this... They are really like, killing They, they were really going to kill Like, in this, I, th I think every X-Men fan was like... When he was in, when they made it in slow motion, he was looking at them like, "Yo, they about to fuck the movie up," they and really I was like, "No!" And he just died. I'm like, Whoop. I was, I, cause yeah, I think we had pretty good. I was looking at Professor X, and I think he was looking at me. Yeah, he was telling me he like he got into my was, mind. I was like, <laughs> "They are really about to kill him." I was like, "What the and flying then when fuck?" He Just, that was just, I was like, I'm done. Like, they're like, like dedicated fans that's like almost over 50 years old. That was, that, they probably that, had a heart attack and died. Mm hmm. They, it's, will, it's they crazy. will definitely never do that again. <laughs> I, I will tell you that from, you know, everybody's going to have to, pretty much, you're going to have to, like, do the X Men Days of Future Past and erase that. But anyway, uh, the Days of Future Past review, we just kind of want to uh, vent. A little on X3 last stand because yeah, it, it was long. I've waited that was, many years to release this. Yeah, let the, I guess yeah. let the world know. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Days of Future Past. I was. I thought this was a great movie. Um, the few the issues I've had with any of the movies still remain. Like um, Hugh Jackman being six two, Wolverine foot shorter but you know I'm used to that I got to see why Hugh Jackman he was a star I mean because he's really the star of the franchise Kitty Pryde people a lot of people say how Kitty Pryde was the one that went back in time but Hugh Jackman he's just uh, he's a famous actor and he's just like right now a mega star so because know. of this role yeah and basically because of this role in the future few other movies but mm -hmm. basically because his role is really everybody cool. knows him as Wolverine yeah I mean you might as well go with that that's your money maker so I mean they did the smart thing doing that and it worked out you know it worked out fine for me um so I mean basically it starts off great with the whole gloom and doom and it was gloom and doom all right it was, uh, things was pretty dark like the comic dark you know it's supposed to in the movies it seems like it's watered down with mm -hmm. the violence and stuff but not on this one this mm -hmm. was actually kind of like almost a, the deaths on here for the mutants was like kind of like on some saw type shit yeah yeah let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go ahead and talk about some of the deaths um, let's see we had Storm, she got stabbed. She got the simple. easy. She husband was simple. Yeah, like was seriously, simple. just stab and throw off. Like they had so so many unique ways of killing these. Mutants. It was, I think, the most unique one to me when the Sentinel killed Warpath. Like yeah. he, that was torture. That yeah. was, a, that was horrendous. That was like a I, If I had to name that super move, which it was, I call it glimpse into hell because that's exactly <laughs> what that he was. Basically. Took held his, his head. He had his body on his back, and he just he shot roasted. a beam and just roasted his. Face. And while he's just sitting there, like all the way bit by bit, it's, mm -hmm. like it's horrible. It was it was ridiculous, <laughs> terrible. I was just like, I and, feel sorry for these mutants. And I Colossus, they somebody broke. that's in vulnerable, indestructible. They broke him in half Talk like about a piece of like a turkey somebody, neck or something. Like, uh, I don't Batman, know. Batman, a bank. Saying break, they, they literally broke, broke him them. in half. Like uh, he's you know, supposed like to when be you get pissed off in the wire in your head. Poof! That's exactly how he broke. Metal, pure metal. Right, <laughs> and they just broke him like he was, wasn't shit. Like he was aluminum or some yeah, bullshit. They like they stepped on really? Iceman's head, 
in the, they, the first diff. A bishop's power is to absorb. That, I, it's, at this point, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. They giving him all this power and shit. He's about mm -hmm. to be all, he about to turn fire like a motherfucker. Next thing you know, it, something clicked in the back of my mind. I said, wait a minute. Jared, you've watched too many movies where people get overpowered with so much power. What do they do? Explode. <laughs> he turned into some hell demon beast auras yeah. and stuff. I'm like, wow. he's about to... All of a sudden, boosh, I was like... <laughs> like, that. there goes him. Uh, who else? Okay, Blink. She got... She was like, shit. Yeah, she was she, she was she was she was she her death. She kind of like Storm. She got stabbed, but she got stabbed like, like about three four times. They they figured seconds. out her little um, her teleportation yeah, game. Like, okay, like, nothing. Like, like she did it. Psh, 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 we gonna stay, but yeah, her whole her she was one of the key to their whole defense um, against these. It sentinels. was like she she's the one that held them up, oh, made yeah. them hold up for so Talk long. Talk about a support character. She was like one of the ultimate support. Characters, right. so that was pretty cool because you you always gotta appreciate the different uh, kinds of heroes you have. You have the support that really help to. Um, God, you explain it like this is about to be another game that they're going. To I know it. Yeah, right. But but <laughs> but anyway, so we had uh, another great scene in the movie. Quicksilver was on one of my favorite scenes. He was so kick ass. I love the dude. He kick was, ass. He, he, he comes from like, kick ass. He came from kick ass, and of course, you know, there's gonna have the other the kick ass star is gonna be the next Quicksilver. But I think he's gonna have something to compete against because Evan Peters did a great job as um, Quicksilver in this movie. You know, he he had the whole cocky attitude, and um, I've seen how he is in other shows like in American Horror Story, and he's he's a good actor. He has some variety. Um, mm -hmm. he, he usually plays kind of the youngish kitty character. So that's why they had him playing um, the teenager Quicksilver in this one, Magneto's son. So that was Speaking of Magneto, let's go on about my favorite anti-hero. And Magneto probably Vichy. had the best scenes. So basically, Professor, they had different ways of going against the um, problem with humans trying to hate mutants, basic, mutants basically. Um, of course, Professor X, once he got on his, his senses, his, his senses his powers, and basically so. his powers back, his whole path is, you know, peace. work, peace, and stuff like that. Um, don't throw, um, um, don't add to the flame, just basically mm -hmm. try to Love will um, always love, yeah. mm -hmm. And Magneto, he, he seemed like he was trying to go along with that. Yeah, for a little, for bit. A little bit, but, you know, but I can relate to Magneto. He, he basically, scene. yeah, <laughs> it, it, I guess people who kind of um, feel like they don't want to take the soft, easy, they wanna slow get, They want to get shit done, and sometimes you just have to dirty they, your hands to do yeah. it. And he has no problem dirtying his hands, yeah. a stadium, ships, pieces, anything mm -hmm. he could get his hands on. To get the job done. Yeah, especially with his pads, you know, he's had right. a hard like, pads, so he's It pissed me no off board. in the upbringing on first class, was it? There, that yeah. was first class when mm -hmm. that happened. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, yeah, when he was a kid and his his mom got killed in front of him. He, there's a reason by why he is the way he yeah, is. Yeah, so basically, we got to, you, you kind of understand why he's he's kind of and a little more edgy. As far as, you know what I'm saying, I see... You know, like, I, I also see how this movie can bring about confusion to a lot of people as far as plot twists and loopholes and so on and so on and stuff. Mm -hmm. There was actually one key element that was said so people wouldn't get confused as far as how the time would go, like, challenging yeah. Professor X's mind. And mm -hmm. I think you would do well in that department explaining it. Yeah, Ooh. they basically um, say basically... What Kitty Pryde was doing was keeping Wolverine asleep and keeping him under composure with her powers, you know, which they kind of just imply that she has the power to send his consciousness back into time. And so what she said, a key line, what she said was that as long as you're asleep, that um, the past and the present, which is the future, um, can coexist. Will coexist at the same, so they'll be going on at the same time, which was going on in the movie, the past and the, the past and the future, which basically going on like so nothing different happened. But under the radar, there's Wolverine kind of 
um, covertly trying to change things. But mm -hmm. what she said at the end of her statement, well, at the end of her statement was that as soon as you wake up, then whatever you do, whatever actions you we'll take, change, will, will take, place. take effect. So um, that was basically, I mean, they, they you know, they stuck to it. Yeah, they stuck and to it. Like, and they had a good way to explain what was going on. I felt, you know, I mean, it's, it's all, people have different theories in every movie. We've all seen different ways people approach, but I kind of all hovers around the same. And also to possible. throw, you know, a little, you know, something in. They finally managed, Mystique finally managed to get back into the slick, sexy, Ooh. dark, dirty, Ooh. melee competence that I love on the last Can't couple nobody. of years. Like, that lady owns a fucking room full of people. Yes. Like, seriously. Her like melee ability but... is just almost unparalleled. Yes. It's like, how can I put it? If you and any of you guys watch, seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, if it's, I could compare Great it to show, that. To King Bradley, yes, he's like only without swords. She like the command, and they have something in common. They are master strategists. Yes, King Bradley is a master strategist with his things that he he sees. I mean, he sees he it before anticipate. it happens, and so and that's basically part of Mystique's mutant ability. She has, I mean, it's basically it's not your typical mutant ability. She has agility, super healing. But she's also a strategist. So you can basically lump she that in with her. Shift. And she can shape so she can She's a beast of a fighter. Like, seriously. I mean, she doesn't no have shit. Wolverine's healing ability, but she has enough to where, I mean, if she's fast as hell and she's running through people, mm -hmm. she can shape shift. She has all this other so stuff. So I'm so happy to see, she you know what I'm saying, peak. Rebecca Ramon Stamos, I've, you know what I'm saying, she's done a great job as far as, to me, um, playing that role as far as combat, but it's nice to see Jennifer Lawrence take yeah. up that role. I think Jennifer Lawrence like, she, did a great job. Yeah, she did a great job. I'm glad to see Mystique back in, you know, that realm of yeah. character. Because the thing about Jennifer Lawrence is she's a little more of an actress than Rebecca Romaine. Um, because Rebecca Romaine, uh, same as her, Mystique was basically kind of a quiet Mystique, you know. She, yeah. she, she was mostly exactly. the action. She's, like I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna like I when I let I in in a sense I can see Rebecca Moore saying I'm going to let this bitch go ahead and just do all the talking for me. Um, I think they did a great job. They fixed some things when they showed Cyclops at the end. Yes, I was like, or I'm sorry, Jane Grey, I, I, and that music played. I was just like, yeah. When I saw when I saw the red, I was, really have a did they really sense. fix it? Oh, great. Like, oh, God. So it was a, it, a great movie. I mean, I loved it. I enjoyed a lot of action. Mm -hmm. um, it flowed. It, it had a cool vibe to it. I um, mean, like to me, you know what I'm saying? A hardcore X Men fan. I, I consider myself a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a decent X Men fan. I know my history on it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I love X Men. I, Oh, God, can I just go ahead and say I'm hardcore as well? <laughs> like, is there levels to this hardcore shit? Like, hardcore <laughs> titanium, <laughs> antimony, what the fuck? Yeah. I like X-Men, so I know my shit. So, yeah. but basically, you know, I could see where there could be room for error in certain things and stuff like that. But to me, honestly, I'm not a yes man, by the way. But it's just that I, I'm not much of a critic, but... Okay, let me just stop rambling. The movie was pretty good. It was, in fact, it was it was wonderful to me. Like, I, it, it actually, it, the ending, like, really just made me, it just gave me hope. Like, oh, th this is like resuscitation to the franchise. The original, you know what I'm saying, X, three X-Men that came before, like, mm -hmm. to this. So, yep. overall, it, it was good for me. Yep. It was a great movie, and I look forward to 2016 yes. Apocalypse. So. Apocalypse, motherfucking apocalypse, man. That's going to be great. Yes. Thanks, guys. Um, right. Stay tuned. We'll do a review um, for, well, we have our review for Game of Thrones, and we'll do other reviews. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.